whether it be a rug, an old curtain, I see everything as a hat. Late 60s, early 70s, when I'm a kid in Alabama, I spent a lot of time in my room sewing and just creating things. And I really loved hats. I, and I just started trying to make little quirky little headpieces. I am not classically trained as a milliner, so I'm sort of way out of the box. I will make a hat out of anything. My process is fabulous fabric, nice trimmings, and just looking at them and imagining them coming together. And that's really what I work on mostly. I did things for Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt last year, um, all the hats for one of the episodes, another show called Botched, um, The Bold Type, and Married to Medicine. This little store is known all over the world. And it's interesting because there are people that live here in Harlem that may live across the street that have never been in the store. But there are people from Eastern Europe and from Italy and from Sweden that show up at the door that already know about me. They've heard that this is the place to go in Harlem to see unusual hat designs. And I just went walking, walking this particular day and I ended up coming in here, but I had no cash. And I saw that hat, I saw this hat, this, but, but not this, this color. This, this hat, this makeup hat, but with a longer peak. Okay, when I try on that hat, it look like, wow, it look like, wow. This is you right here, because I don't go crazy over hats. Hat don't usually take my face, but that one took to my face. That shape of that hat, that particular make of that hat, and then knowing that it came from a, a black woman as myself, yeah. a normal black woman did that. I say I have to come back for this hat. This hat is mine. This hat look good on me. That hat look like me, me. And I like unusual stuff. So that that unusual long curve there look like me. It beautified me. One of my favorite headpieces that I've done is for Junior Labeja who is very well known in the ballroom scene. He was actually in the movie Paris is Burning. He was the MC, And I created this fabulous top hat for him that we covered with blackbirds. And we covered it also with crystals and jewels. So the birds would look like they were jewel thieves. And then we act added a long veil and lots of tulle. And he wore it with a dramatic long black cape to uh, one of the ballroom events. So I want to do more of that custom, a little bit of craziness kind of headpiece. <laughs>